Ask ChatGPT how you want your files to be renamed and it will write an advanced expression for you to copy and paste into Power Rename, which will apply the expression to multiple files and rename them all at once. I've never seen ChatGPT used like this before. Hello, I'm Ryan. On this channel, I share with you how I make Windows more productive and efficient while keeping it healthy, safe, and running smoothly. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. We'll be using Power Rename, which is a Power Toys utility. Download link is in the description. After after you downloaded Power Toys, open it, go to Power Rename and make sure Used Boost Library is on, which will provide extended features. For a deeper exploration of Power Rename, check out the video in the top right corner. The prompt structure we'll be using is write a regular expression pattern along with a replacement pattern for Power Rename to Action Example File Name. Basically, this tells ChatGPT to write something for us to copy and paste into the Search For box and something to copy and paste into the Replace With box in Power Rename. And then the action is how we want our files to be renamed and the example file name gives more context to chat gpt you'll soon see how it's used in real examples so i have these files here they have a date in the front of their file name and the year month and day are separated by a period and i want to separate them by a dash so i'll open chat gpt paste my prompt structure and customize it for this use case so i replace the action with to replace the period by a dash for the example file name, copy one of the file names that you want to be renamed and paste it into ChatGPT. This is a fairly basic use case and we'll explore more complex examples later. As you can see, it provided us with a regex pattern and a replacement pattern. What you have to do from here is first open Power Rename by clicking Ctrl A and right clicking on one of the folders and click Power Rename. I only want to include folders, so I'll disable include subfolders and I'll disable include files and I'll also check match all occurrences which will apply the change to not only the first period but all of them. Go back to ChatGPT, copy the regex pattern and paste it in the search for box, copy the replacement pattern and paste it into the replace with box. And that's it. You can see if I uncheck match all occurrences, only the first period is replaced and the second is still there. So I'll check match all occurrences and click apply. As you can see, ChatGPT did what we wanted it to do. So we have a more advanced example here. I want to shift this date from the middle of the file name to be at the front of the file name. And to do that, I'll tell ChatGPT to write a regular expression pattern along with a replacement pattern for Power Rename to shift the date from the middle of the file name to the front and provide an example file name. I'll copy the regex pattern and paste it in the search for box and copy the replacement pattern and paste it in the replace with box. The change did not happen because I have include files disabled. As you can see, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. It shifted the date to the front, but sometimes it might not do exactly what you want. In that case, you need to specify the problem with the old expression and tell it to write it again. Another example here, I want to remove the counter from these file names and replace it with my own custom counter. To do that, I'll tell ChatGPT to write a regular expression pattern along with the replacement pattern for power rename to remove the counter from the file name and i have provided an example file name. this is what it came up with and power rename provide custom counter templates that you can access by clicking this button and scrolling down and be using this counter with a customized start value i want it to start from one this will add a number after the file name that starts with one and counts up until the last file name apply and close this has many customization possibilities comment down below your use case and if you'd like a part 2 covering more examples comment down below and like the video